award winning. Kunti Devi sees submissively. This is the symptom of Vaishnava. Uh, the Lord Krishna has come to Kunti Devi to take the dust of her feet because Krishna considers Kunti Devi as her aunt. To show her respect, Krishna used to touch the feet of Kunti Devi. But Kunti Devi, although she is in such exalted position, practically on the level of Jasadamaya, <coughs> such a great devotee, so she is so submissive that Krishna you are meant for the paramhansas. Uh, and what we can see you, we are women. So, <coughs> as it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Sriya Vaishya Statha Shudra. Uh, in another place in the Bhagavad, it is said, Sri Shudra Dijabandhu Nam. Shudra, Sri and Dijabandhu. Dijabandhu means those who are born in Brahmin family or Chatriya family, high caste. Uh, according to Vedic system, there are four divisions. Chatur Bandang Maya System Gunakar. According to quality and war, uh, the first class man is the Brahmana, intellectual. The so next Chatriya, the next Vaisha, the next Sudra. So, uh, according to this classification, Omen, Shudra, and Dijabandhu. Dijabandhu, they are taken in the same category. Uh, Dijabandhu means born in Brahmin family, Chhatriya family, but has no qualification. The thing is to be considered by qualification. It is very practical. Suppose one man is born, the son of a high court judge, so it does not mean that because he is a son of a high court judge, he is also high court judge. This is going on. Because one happens to take birth in a Brahmin family, without any qualification he claims to become a Brahmin. <coughs> that is the fall down of Vedic civilization in India. A rascal number one, he is claiming that he is Brahmin. Uh, without any qualification. Uh, his qualification is less than a Shudra. Still he is claiming and that is being accepted. Uh, so, uh, it is clearly stated 
guna karma vibhava without qualification uh, the brahmana means the qualification it is not this body there are so many arguments uh, but they won't hear uh, they are very much against in my movement because i am uh, making brahmins from europe and america they are against me uh, but don't care we don't care for them neither any reasonable man will care for them but there is a propaganda against me uh, even among my god brothers uh, they are making because they cannot do it so find out some fault you see sri chaitanya mahapurush said prithivite ache jato nagaradi gram sarvatra prachar hoi ve morna in every town city village of the world his cult will be preached what what is his cult uh, does it mean that the europeans and americans will not become brahmin because vaishnav cult means past brahminism uh, past brahminism मानचव्याचारिणी भक्ति जोगी न जिवते सगुणान समितन ब्रह्म भूया कल्प हि भक्ति जो वन हु टेक्स टू भक्ति जो हि इमीजिएटली कम्स इन टू द ट्रांसेंडेंटल प्लेटफॉर्म ब्रह्म भूत वॉट इज स्पीक आ ब्राह्मण दिस टेरियर टाइप क्रिपल आइडिया है स्किल वेदिक सिविलिजेश नाउ यू आर अगेन रिवाइविंग Uh, it is meant for everyone. Krishna says, "Mangi path ve pas sritya jeepi su papa jonaya sriya sudra tatha vishya sthibi janti parangati." Krishna says, although ordinarily we take sriya means uh, woman, sudra and vishya. in the lower class uh, grade uh, but when one becomes a devotee the, the he is or she is no more in the lower grade te pijanti parangati the devotional service is so nice that anyone uh, ordinarily woman is taken less intelligent shudra is taken less intelligent Bhisha is taken less intelligent, but if he takes to Krishna consciousness, he is uh, the most intelligent. Uh, Krishna je bhaje sevara chotur. This is the statement in the Chaitanya Charita. Anyone who has taken to Krishna consciousness, he is the most intelligent. Uh, and and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. गुरु कृष्णा कृपाय पाए भक्ति लता भी को भाग्यवान जी यही रूपे ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित को भाग्यवान जी कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मोमेंट इज नॉट फॉर द रेचेड अनफॉर्चुनेट क्लास ऑफ मैन नो इट इज मैन फॉर द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट मैन एनी वन हु हैज टेकन टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस He is to be considered as the most fortunate man because he has got the line uh, of action how his life will be perfect. Therefore, anyone who is in Krishna consciousness and discharging the duties nicely, he is the most fortunate man, most perfect man.